Okay, so I don't want to waste a trip out to the mountain home here, so I figured I'd take you a short video, walk you around the truck, tell you everything that I know that's wrong with it, um, be upfront and honest about absolutely everything, that way there'll be no surprises and you can let me know if you're still interested. Um, like all old V8s, it's cold-blooded, so I just now started it, and as you can hear, it's it's kind of going in and out of high idle, trying to get, uh, trying to get warmed up. Um, as far as the engine goes, it's got 154,000 miles on it. As you can see, there's no fan shroud, it's been broken. I have the air filter off right now, but I do have the air cleaner system and I will include that. The uh, battery's brand new reman from the battery exchange, it's got a six month warranty on it. Both radiator hoses, this upper one that you see right here, as well as the lower one coming off the bottom of the radiator, have just recently been replaced. All the fluids have gone, been gone through as well. This pump is starting to go out on the power steering pump, so it winds a little bit, but it does still work. Right here, you can see that there used to be an air conditioning system involved. Um, that has been disconnected coming off of the back, and then obviously the hoses go to nothing up front, um, but the bracket's still there if you ever wanted to reinstall an air conditioning system. These wheels I bought because I liked them more. Um, originally, the plan was to build this into a little shop truck for my brother, paint it black and such. Um, the tires are those Toyo Open Country really nice 10 ply tires and as you can see they're nearly 60-70% nah, still. Um, no major body damage as you can see the truck's dirty, it's got uh, scratches, it's got um, paint fading, a little bit of miscolored paint on top of the bed you can see it's more gray than white. Um, there's a dent on either side of the bottom of the bed there and then on the other side as well I'll walk around over here see it there that's the only body damage on it though as you can see over here same thing mismatched paint looks like some tape was there at some point in time but four matching tires four matching wheels all the way around the mirrors are on there I turned the hazards and the lights on just so that you could see that the lights all work all the way around you were asking if it is licensed. It is up until um, 04 of 2015. I transferred these off of a different set of a different truck. Both hazards work. There's the back of it. Walking around here, it's got two fuel tanks. It's got a new fuel pump in the front one. The back one works just fine, and it's got new inline fuel filters. Radiator was just recently tested because there was water in the system for a while. So we had that tested out and there was no leaks in it. The coolant's been completely flushed out. Obviously we drained all the fluid when we did the uh, when we did the hoses. Here's the front end. Lights are on and working properly. As you can see, the hazards work as well. Transmission shifts really nice, especially considering how old it is. Um, as far as I know, it's the stock transmission. I was down underneath there when I was doing some of the services and it didn't look like anything had been replaced as far as the transmission goes. If it was, it was probably quite a while ago. Hood latch just fine. Fairly straight there. As you can see, there's a dent on the hood right there, but it ain't too bad. Um, front windshield is cracked. I'll get into the inside here so you can see it. Windshield's cracked right there. The dash cover is almost completely ruined, it would need to be replaced. Heater works, it works real nice. I've had the heater going for the last couple of days while I've been driving this. Um, the front gauge cluster has cracked glass in front of it, so that would need replaced. You can see the miles right here at 154.9, so almost 155,000 miles. Light controls here, heater and um, tank controls are here, no stereo. Glove box is there. Big mess of wires down underneath. But if you zoom out and take a look, this interior is actually not in horrible shape. If you were to wash up the ground, maybe paint these a different color or clean them up a little bit, and put a new steering column in it, you'd have a, a pretty nice little interior here. I haven't even looked at the bench seat, to be honest with you. I've had this cover on the entire time that I've owned the truck, which, like I said, hasn't been long. Surprisingly, everything works. Lights work, heater works, um, door reels work. Um, Locks work. I don't have the, the key to the doors. I only have the ignition key. Um, it's a pain in the ass to start. <laughs> Let me hop up in here and show you. For something's wrong in this uh, the steering column here, and I was going to replace the whole thing, and I just haven't done it yet. 
when you start it, it has to be started in uh, in between neutral and drive. So you gotta. Now it's not wanting to participate. You gotta go down to neutral and drive, and you kind of gotta play with it to find it, and then start it. And it starts and shifts itself into neutral, and then once you get it warmed up and you're ready to go, then you just shift it down into drive, and it shifts real nice into drive, as you can see. So, um, easily, it will go into park and stay if you want to keep it running, um, but it does need to be started in between neutral and drive, which is a pain in the rear. That would be fixed just by getting a new steering column out of a, out of a donor truck out of the junkyard. Also, clean up the steering wheel area. This is obviously not stock and not very well done. Um, so a whole new steering column would definitely be recommended, but, um, that's everything that I can think of that's wrong with it. Um, trying to be as honest as possible here. If you have any other questions, just let me know and, uh, and we'll go from there. Thank you.